Everybody was kung fu fighting this week on Boss Battle. Find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh? Check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at SliceOnBroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. Welcome everybody to Boss Battle number 152, a show in which the writers of InsertCoinToBegin.com get together and talk about video games. I'm your host, Bobby FJ Tom, but before we get to the infotainment and general good time making of this podcast, let's see what everybody achieved this week. Chachi, how about you? What did you achieve? Uh, not much. Um, no, really not much at all. I played some <laughs> Call of Duty, um, both Blobs and Advanced Warfare, but that's about it. Okay. Um. Yeah, that's it. That's all, that's all I really accomplished video game wise this week. Riz, what'd you achieve this week? Uh, well, first I'm on the uh, last level of Bloodborne, which I oh, will cool. be on there for you know eternity a year. <laughs> um, but also I downloaded and started playing uh, on on my on my Wii U Virtual Console. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ocarina of Time. Nice. I already beat the first boss. Everyone's favorite game. Everybody's favorite game. <laughs> all right, is that all you achieved? Yes. Sorg, how about you? What did you achieve? Well, first of all, I had a f- tremendous conversation. Uh, thank you for hooking that up, Chachi, with Arnie Roth, the conductor of the Final Fantasy Distant Worlds, coming to the uh, Pittsburgh Symphony Orchestra here in town in Pittsburgh. Uh, so that was really freaking cool. Uh, go check out that interview over at InstaCoinToBegin.com or AwesomeCast.net. We talked about a lot of things. Uh, he was apparently one of the original members of Mannheim Steamroller. Uh, one of the the band members, and uh, also uh, uh, has worked with Patrick Stewart as and like I think Diana Ross. You mentioned he's sure. done a lot, a lot of stuff. And actually, with Sir. my thumb, what? Sir Patrick Stewart. Sir Patrick Stewart. I'm sorry. Uh, and and as far as actual video gaming, I did with my thumbs. I beat Bioshock Infinite and got Yay! broke. And got broke. Uh, that's yeah. such a great ending Ooh. game. Oh, that, awesome. that is heavy. That was heavy. <laughs> it was 20 minutes. Yeah. I haven't yeah. I haven't been in, and it was 20 minutes, but but I haven't been involved in something like that since I beat uh, Metal Gear Solid 2, which is the only Metal Gear Solid that I beat. Um and and they just like push you through like a 20 30 minute cutscene it seems. This mm-hmm. was interactive and to push you through it and mm-hmm. you're like am I going to fight more stuff? What what what's happening here? What's going on? And uh and and it's done. And and that's it. And and I'm still thinking about it four days later. So yeah, it, so it, it took me a while. Sir. I mean, I was up for another hour reading like theories about the game ending. Um, brain, it breaks your brain. And I think I'm I think I'm in a good spot with it for the most part. Um, <laughs> I I mean, it was I, there was somebody I, I I tweeted I was mid I was mid uh, game. I was I think I was about up to the warden's office, and and somebody said, oh, it was like the worst story I've, I've had in video games. I'm like, really? Really? Wow. Uh, I don't know. I it was, was one of the best. It was fun. I don't think it's uh, uh, as good a game as Bioshock, but uh, it's tremendous. Got a good, better story, I think. Right, right. My problem with it mm-hmm. is uh, Bioshock. It felt like you were wandering more. It felt like you had more s- perilous situations. Um, in this one, it, it, it like the big stuff was too big. It seemed. Versus like a big daddy. Oh crap! Now I got to deal with a big daddy, right? There mm-hmm. wasn't a lot of that happening here. You know, I Dirigibles. wasn't. It wasn't as scared of the, the 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 big guys. I forget what they call them in in this one. The but handyman. The handyman, which you only deal yeah. with like four times, really. You know, and 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 it didn't get that vibe until you're in the warden's office with the silent boys, and mm-hmm. you deal with like four of them, and that's it. I you like know? the crow guy too cool. yeah the crow guy is interesting too so um but but i but but still bobby i just we just the, the that's the beat the game needs to have a side spoiler conversation about this game like mm-hmm. after the show something because yeah. i need See my to, wall over there i have elizabeth on it and i have my two bioshock infinite figures over there too. i understand your <laughs> obsession i understand your obsession now but also yes. there was a, a gameplay chair or something that i feel like never happened <laughs> Because there's something about like the like her function that I don't know. I had a different impression about her her role in the game and what she was going to be able to do. 
and it doesn't feel like it's as i mean it was it was interesting it was it was definitely very interesting that she like toss you stuff and everything but yeah i, um, I kind of agreed with you there sort because the whole birder cage thing kind of yeah. was out there and it really didn't yeah, it didn't matter play into the story at all well, it, it, it did. Yes. It did in the end. Well, oh, I see. The, did it actually change anything? Like, it didn't change an ending. There's, there's no alternate endings in this, is there? I don't think. No, nope. I don't think so. Versus like the first Bioshock, you have to save or 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 uh, absorb so many of the the little sisters, and that will make the ending <laughs> different for you, make you a different person. Um, but. Giddy. But still, I don't know. Very interesting. Very interesting to check that out. And of course, uh, Bulletstorm I've been jumping into here and there, playing some Street Fighter here and there, and uh, got back into Immortals because I need to get the Mad Scientist Bray Wyatt. So, <laughs> yes. Bobby? Um, I didn't play many games on my Xbox One because we have company over. Uh, I had to go to bed at 10 o'clock this week. Uh, um, but I, I, I did play my PS3. There's a cat on camera if you're if you're watching live. Uh I had, I had to. <laughs> I had to um, play my PlayStation Three. Uh, I played uh, Destruction Derby for PS One, which that game is something. <laughs> uh, and I played Skullgirls and Street Fighter EX Three, I think it was, and a couple other games like that. And um, uh, tapped out, as you know, I've been involved in the uh, tap ball thing, so that was the thing that happened this week. But other than that, do not really do much else. So, All right, Chachi, you want to take us around the net? First, uh, we're fostering a cat from the Animal Rescue League. This cat is available for adoption. Her name is Captain Fluffy Pants. Fuzzy Pants. <laughs> Fuzzy Pants. <laughs> Captain Fuzzy Pants. Come here, cat. This is a reminder. Control the general pet population. Have your pet spayed or neutered. She is spayed. <laughs> also, I have two stray cat- kittens outside my house, too, if anybody wants one. Uh, so, no, there's... Uh, uh, video game team thing. First up, uh, the reason uh, Sorg found Vomit Comet in the notes for the, uh, the show this week <laughs> uh, is because the Japanese comet. have reconfigured a Transformers arcade game uh, into what I'm referring to as the Vomit Comet <laughs> okay. um, using the Sega R360 arcade hardware which is a cabinet that rotates 360 degrees in all directions to... Transformers, spin uh, until you bother. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it, it spins 360 degrees in all directions oh, no. uh, in response oh. to the gameplay of the game. Nope. No. <laughs> nope. So, yes, uh, the Sega R360 Transformers Human Alliance Vomit Comet. Uh, yeah, Chachi? Yeah. Uh, yeah. No. I will, no. It, you, I can, uh, you can go over to insertcoinbegin.com and check the link where they have a, uh, a full uh, full GIF of the, the video. I want to do yeah. this. Yeah. I want to do this. It's pronounced GIF. It's pronounced GIF. Yeah. We're not going to argue about this. Hey, hey, Chachi. Chachi, how many, how many uh, megabytes do you have on your phone? <laughs> what? <laughs> you can go over to insertcoinbegin.com and check out the, uh, the link. Um to see the vomit comet. Um, What's the storage capacity of your phone, Chachi? Uh, <laughs> next up, uh, Mario, Luigi, and Wario invaded the Tour de France. Uh, <laughs> I, I put a, a still of it uh, in the post. Um, also, a link for that over to Kotaku where they have the, uh, the gif <laughs> of them uh, running alongside the I'm surprised, uh, the I'm surprised that's not already a, son, a Mario and Luigi game. <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> Um, with, and, with Sonic too. Yeah. Wait, was that was that a? Uh, I think that was an Olympic sport in one of the uh, games. I it think. probably was. Probably was. That that wouldn't surprise me. Lance Armstrong just randomly appearing. Yep. All doped up. Wow, his one uh, testicle. <laughs> Last but not least, um, I'm not sure if you guys remember Sonic Generations. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, an actual good Sonic game. Yeah. You know, uh, hey, Bobby, you remember the end of that game? No, I didn't beat it. This is my <laughs> favorite. This is my favorite video of the week. <laughs> so, it, had Bobby made it to the end of Sonic Generations, <laughs> he found out that Shia LaBeouf is actually in that game. 
I actually uh, played that for uh, um, our video game thing last year. And mm-hmm. uh, he is uh, he's the one who uh, hyped Sonic up enough to come back and beat <laughs> Dr. Robotnik. Uh, Do it! So you can go over and check out the 59-second video. Um, I, I have to say that I'm a fan of all of the Shia LaBeouf videos, <laughs> um, even the original, just based on the body motions that he makes. So, I, I, I mean, it, it, they're all entertaining. So, yeah, yeah you can go over to InsertCoinToBeacon.com <laughs> and check out the entire video. I'm, I'm guessing Riz is watching the video. <laughs> no, I just watched it on Sorg screen, and it was the part where uh, he was glowing and he did that oh. pose. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Do it! Uh, so, uh, that's all the time I have for you in this week's edition of Video Game Theme Things from around the internet, net, 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 net. <laughs> However... Uh, over at mstarcoinsbegin.com, we have four tickets what? to give away to Final Fantasy Distant Worlds. Uh, I'm sorry, Distant Worlds music from Final Fantasy with the Pittsburgh Symphony Orchestra, uh, mm-hmm. August 1st. They're row E. Ooh, Ooh that's, that's good close. seats. Those yeah. are good seats. Yeah, row E. Yeah, so Final Fantasy will be in your face. Yep. Uh, go over to insertcointobegin.com and enter the contest. You have until Sunday uh, to get that done because we got to get these tickets out uh, since it's two weeks away. Mm-hmm. So, uh, also, chachiplace.com. Mm-hmm. Go over there and uh, help us out because it's it, it's great, great, great. Hit that donate button. Yes. Great. And actually donate. Don't just hit the button and, well, yeah, and hit the hit button, button and give us money and then you can <laughs> I no. did it. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Type in how much you want to spend and then hit the donate button yeah. again. Go yeah. through how the entire doing? donation button, their donation process, and then you can leave. I yeah. donated my time to hitting that button. <laughs> hit that button, Bobby. Um, so, yeah, go over to ChachiPlays.com and look us up. Back to you, Bobby. All right. It's time to th- some, for some things that you might uh, be, be made aware of, uh, like – Learning how to speak. I <laughs> uh, don't know how to English. <laughs> I forgot how to English. Uh, new characters were announced this week for the two premier fighting game franchises. Uh, first up, the new characters from Mortal Com- or a new character from Mortal Kombat X was announced. Uh, he's uh, exclusively for the, well, not not exclusively, but he's in the combat pack DLC uh, pass if you have that. Uh, his name is Tremor, not Trevor. Tremor. Uh, he was announced, and it's the first time he's playable in a Mortal Kombat game. Uh, his last appearance was in uh, the Challenge Tower stage of Mortal Kombat in 2011 on the PlayStation Vita. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Um, he's pretty much a, uh, made of rock and can morph his hands into hammers uh, and has a pretty cool fatality where he crushes somebody with rock hands and with giant rocks. Um, it's very bloody. I saw it in the video. Uh, you can pick him up today if you have the combat pack. And if you don't have the combat pack, he'll be available on July 28th. Uh, and... Also, on that day, uh, some classic skins will also be released for other fighters. Uh, another new character for Street Fighter V was unveiled at EVO this weekend. Uh, his name is Nikali, and he's the newest character unleashed in the world of Street Fighter V. He's kind of a cross between Blanca and a Dragon Ball Z character. <laughs> uh, he has really wild hair. Uh, he kind of reminds me of uh, Akuma's Wrath, that uh-huh. game from like Capcom a long time ago. Uh, Caps, Capcom hasn't revealed much about his origin, but they said they will reveal more uh, once the game's closer to release. Um, I'm going to ask you guys this. I know Chachi's not that big of an, in the fighting games. Uh, which character do you guys uh, think sounds better, and do you prefer newer characters to updated versions of older characters, like they did with Ken? In mm. Yeah. I don't know. I, I'm, I, I like the Mortal Kombat new character better. I, I know. I never... Mm. I haven't gotten into a new add-on character since Cammy, but I was a teenager at the time. Uh, so I, w- I like Devora in Mortal Kombat t- uh, 10. Okay. Or Mortal Kombat X. I, I think she was a great addition. Mm-hmm. Well, for, let me let me start off by saying uh, Ken in this new game sucks. I was oh, here last week. That was terrible. If you guys discussed this last I didn't week, think I don't we want to repeat, repeat this, but whole, what? Why would you change Ken? That yeah. much, uh, but but to answer your question, Bobby, uh, I I love new characters in video games. Okay, uh, but there is nothing better than seeing a DLC where you know the character, mm-hmm. <laughs> like with uh, 
I want to say Injustice, they had Scorpion in there. And I was more excited to play a Scorpion <laughs> than Martian Manhunter. Mar- Mar- Martian Manhunter, which I had Martian, no Mar- idea. Marshmallow Manhunter. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> I had no idea who that was. John or Jones. That, or the biker guy. Uh, but Lobo? Yeah, that guy. Uh, so it, it varies on how much I want to spend for it if I know the character. Mm-hmm. That's just me. Anybody else? No. Okay, well, that kind of segues into our next talking point here. Mm-hmm. Um, you might not have to spend any money for the new DLC characters in Street Fighter V. I like this. Uh, I've been giving Capcom and Street Fighter a lot of criticism as of late. Um, however, here's, here's something uh, that they're doing with Street Fighter V that's positive. Uh, this time around, players can earn DLC through playing the game. Uh, mm-hmm. Gone are the days of ultra hyper championship editions of Street Fighter. Uh, the core game will have updates instead of releasing a new version of the game. Um, they're going to include free balance updates as soon as they become available, and you can choose the characters you can earn, uh, or or you can probably buy them. I'm assuming too, uh, if you want to. Um, but you don't have to like have all the characters in one DLC pack like they've been doing. You can choose who you want, who you don't want, uh, which is kind of cool on on their part. Um, the game was announced to have 16 fighters in the core game, uh, with four of them being brand new characters, which one of those being the one we talked about earlier, um, the guy who looks like Blanca and a Dragon Ball character. <laughs> um, but uh, is this a good move on the part of Capcom to be able to earn DLC, or would you prefer to pay for your characters like other ones? I, I, I like the like earning. I like the earning side because that gives you a reason to play the fighting game. Because I yeah. think playing the game to play yeah, the game, exactly. playing the game to play the game, this is you're definitely not playing for the storylines. Because oh man, those are bad. I was reminded of that when I was playing Street Fighter Four the other hey. day. They're, they're dude. Some of those uh, are bad. Mortal they're Kombat was good. Bad. <laughs> Mortal Kombat. <laughs> yeah, Mortal story Kombat mode. Of Mor- story that's what's good. keeping me going back to Mortal Kombat Nine because that story mode. I, I want to mm-hmm. roll through it. It's all like a retelling of Mortal Kombat, like one and two that I can tell so far. Spoiler, sorry, um, but but it gives you a reason. It gives me a reason to learn different fighters, and 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 you have something going on. And, and well, better better done than anything I think Capcom has done story wise on any of these things. So um, no, I, I'm I'm really into this. I'm re- I really like this idea, and I think it would make me play Street Fighter Five more than I probably pay play like a Street Fighter Four. Right. Because right now, the only other than like going on, get my butt kicked online, it's like going through. It's like, all right, let's see if I can beat the game with this character. Let's so I can just see the the stories. Then the stories don't hold up. So I don't know. It's it's starting to get to the point where they're bringing back hidden characters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, like, uh, um, I'm trying to think of like if you beat it with like Sork said, you beat it with, I want to say, uh, if you beat the if you beat like Street Fighter versus Tekken mm-hmm. or, or Marvel versus Street Fighter with uh, one character, you can unlock another character. Mm-hmm. It's like that. Right. I, I I love this idea. Right. Uh, uh, Marvel versus Capcom too. I was doing that a little bit with, and and even like mm-hmm. beating them with certain combinations of like all X Men characters or something will get you yeah. that achievement, right? Or you know, it gives you it gives you a little more reason than just eh, just just do some fights. So, um, no, I, th- I think it's good. good. Good, good on them for this move. Mm-hmm. Um, I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, um, well, you know, Street Fighter makes their money from costumes, anyways, for mm-hmm. the most part. Right. Like that's mainly what their DLC is. Is is all the costumes you can get, which which are really awesome. Like I fell into that trap and bought costumes for Ultra Super Street Fighter, the World Warrior. Turbo Championship Edition Twelve. <laughs> uh, so that, that you know, that's that's how they roll. Um, all right, moving on here. Good news, everyone. Yay! Yay. Esports is finally recognizing ladies in sports. Yay, ladies in sports! Yay. This is the first year you'll be able to play as a woman soccer team, soccer team, or football if you're not from around here. Uh, on FIFA 16. Not only that, but they're going to be on the cover of the game as well. Uh, they're gonna. It's gonna feature um, the women's soccer team players for the first time on any FIFA cover. Um, in the United States, the cover athletes will be team captain Alex Morgan, along with perennial FIFA cover star Lionel Messi. 
Uh, in Canada, they're going to have Messi and uh, Christine Sinclair, who is uh, Canada's team, cap- team captain. And in Australia, it's Messi and Stephanie Catley, who's their ch- team captain, along with one other unnamed athlete. Yeah. Um, this is a great thing. Um, do you think this is a huge step for women, women in sports or women in gaming in general or both? Uh, and should this have been done a lot sooner? I'll answer your first question, second question first. Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, also, FIFA is kind of in a bad PR right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> For Definitely. those of you who uh, follow the sport, if who, who don't, please mm-hmm. search uh, FIFA and Blatt. Uh, Blatt uh, bladder. Pretty much bladder. watch. Also, Their also, was full. also uh, any any John Oliver uh, segment on FIFA yeah. explains yeah, it yeah. too. Yeah, but this should be this should have been done long ago. But I, I kind of am glad that it's happening now because I, I think in even in NHL 15 or NHL 14, they started doing that. They started having customizable l- women players as well as men. You can put them on their team, on your team. Man in Rio, the world's first female hockey goalie. Mm-hmm. Uh, but. Yeah, this is this is good for EA and good publicity for both EA, you know, the two-time Golden Poop Award winner, and <laughs> FIFA. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah. Josh, you anything? No, because this is, shouldn't be news because it should have happened two decades ago. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Mm-hmm. But it's good to see that it's happening. I'm not applauding a company for doing something <laughs> late. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, speaking Especially of boxing, when it's oh. EA. Yeah. Yeah. That, that is a good point. Sorry, speaking of boxes and covers of boxes. Um, boxes with pizza wow. in it. What boxes. comes in boxes? But yeah, with pizza in it from Slice on Broadway, oh, our friends supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with perfect pepperoni pizza. Go check them out. Check them out at sliceonbroadway.com. They're along the tracks here in Beachview in the South Hills, or you can go down to Carnegie, PA, uh, down on Main Street, and uh, and and partake yourself. Go check it out. Follow them on the Twitter's PGH underscore Slice Slice on Broadway on the Facebook on the Instagram. Let them know that you heard about them on the Boss Battle, and please patronize them. Uh, so. Thank you. Thank you to Slice on Broadway. And now let's take a look real quick at what's going on this past week at Sorgatron Media. I was going to say, I want to ask Chris if she's if you're just like breaking out and Chachi plays plugs like in the middle of the night, you know? <laughs> Sleep Chachin. And she just like, she just like reaches over and like, I know, I know, I'll donate in the morning. You know, typically speaking, by the way, that was like the, my biggest fear was like if a microphone even got within like 100 yards of me, I was like, oh my God, I'm going to die. I'm going to combust right now. Like, this is the end of my life. I don't know if uh, indie wrestling shows uh, had uh, wealthy patrons who uh, earned their money selling LSD all all up and down the West Uh, Coast. I don't know about in Pittsburgh, but I'm sure somewhere there is. Uh, that was that was the case for the Grateful Dead. Hype like, uh, TV. I like the hype bros. Like I like the movie Batman and Robin. <laughs> are they a good tag team? <laughs> no, no. But are they entertaining and campy? Yes. yes. No. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, Mojo Rally is essentially NXT's bat nipples. Chachi Plays for Kids is coming back again. The 24 hour Game Athon for Youth Arts Program in Pittsburgh, August 7th and 8th at the Tunesium, or join us live. ChachiPlays.com. Find out how you can make a difference too and donate today. ChachiPlays.com. Up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA, BA, start. Yeah. All right, lots of stuff going on, Sorg. Thanks. It was announced today by developer Slightly Mad that the Wii U version of Project Cars was canceled. Uh, Project Cars, which wa- is a Gran Turismo, Wait. St- <laughs> what? what? Wait, did you say his name is Slightly Mad? <laughs> the developer is called Slightly Mad. <laughs> no, okay. I'm not the guy. I thought you were referring to one single person that... <laughs> as being named Slightly Mad. That's why I started laughing because I heard you like, what? And I'm like, wait, well, what happens when he's in a good mood? He's no, like, he's, 
He's slightly in a better or is he he's, always he's, slightly mad? I'm sorry. He's, go ahead. he's always slightly mad, uh, but he means crazy as far as that goes. Uh, no, no. The developer slightly mad. Uh, canceled the ver- Wii U version of Project Cars, uh, which is kind of – if you're not familiar with Project Cars, it's kind of like a Gran Turismo Forza-style car simulator game. Um, it was released on PC, PS4, and Xbox One on May 12th. Uh, but now it appears that Nintendo console owners are going to have to wait to at least the NX to get their hands on the Wheel of Project Cars. Uh, the game was too much for the Wii U to handle, uh, and they didn't want the quality that their fans expected from the developers to be hindered by that. Uh, they are open to making the game on NX, though, uh, which is good, I guess. Um, and they said that there's a sequel to Project Cars on the way, so I'm thinking they might just jump that onto the NX. Um, But once Nintendo finally unveils the uh, information on their new system, they said they're going to talk to them about putting it on there. So the final round question is, is it okay for a developer to cancel a game for one system when they know another system is in development and around the corner? Yes. Okay. It's simple. If there's something new coming out, you don't want to be the guy that's stuck on the other console. Simple as that. If if you see that there's if you see that you're making something for one thing, and then a brand new thing comes around the corner, you'd want to put your attention on that system. Uh, I, I I recall with WWE 13 or 14, uh, it was I think no it was 15. It was the new one that came out. They had all Xbox 360 and play Xbox One, and PS3, and PS4. They, you, you know when they stopped working on that game, when everything else changed over to PlayStation 4 and Xbox One systems. So it's just like... And it, but they still released the game, though. But it, it, it was hot, really different, and really took, took the fun out of it. So I think to not have that bad name... They are going to wait for it. Mm-hmm. But, but that's you know, touch. You know what? No. All right. First no. off, no. This is no. Not, none of this is okay. First <laughs> off, their name slightly mad. All right. Let's start slightly there. Mad. Not okay with that. Secondly, <laughs> what have they been doing this whole time? Project Cars. Probably, probably working on the PS4 and. Wii, Xbox One and, and PC versions. Right, throw in the Wii U. And, yeah. and the, the only thing I, I, I have to cut you off here, Chachi, the only thing I'm really concerned about is they're going to ask Nintendo whenever their new console comes out if they can do this. Yeah. And that, that's the one thing I'm, conf- I'm confused with. They, they're going to ask them if, I, we, if they can. Just do it. Just go ahead and say, hey, look, we're going to do this Just game. Just do it. Just do it. <laughs> uh, but but it, it's, it was like I'm, I, when you said that first, I'm like, so they don't even know. I think if, they're going to negotiate with Nintendo as far as. But with the other games that have done this in the past that have, mm-hmm. you know, side sidestepped other systems to go to the better system, mm-hmm. they've already got the okay to do so. Yeah. Well, pl- plus they're already working on a sequel anyway, so I don't think they're going to make Project Cars. They'll probably make Project Cars 2.0 or whatever it's going to be called. They'll probably make that on the new console. Project? Yes. They'll Project. just jump right to that. So. Okay. I, no, I, I'm still not okay with this. <laughs> are, are you slightly mad, Chachi? <laughs> no, I, I'm slightly irritated. Um, I, I think I think what needs to happen is Nintendo just needs to give them a finger for the NX. That's who's working on uh, Project mm-hmm. Scooters. Yeah. It's slightly no, irritated. I, 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 seriously, <laughs> I think Nintendo just needs to, to give them the finger when the NX comes up and they ask for a developer's license. Hmm. I think they're just going to be like, they need to be like, no. Well, I'm to tell sorry. you the truth, though, Nintendo's kind of doing this with their, their own game in Legend of Zelda. They're still developing it for the Wii U, but... They said it's definitely going on the NX, oh, but they're still so. going to develop for it. Yeah, right. They don't. They didn't just cancel the game for it. True. They're, they're, that's the that's a whole different story. 
Plus, it's their system. They can do whatever the hell yeah, they want. Sure. Uh, now, now I'm starting to be chalky. I'm starting to get on chalky side here. Now that I think about it, because now you, slightly cause, irritated. Yeah, now I'm <laughs> slightly irritated. Thank you, Chachi. Um, You're welcome, buddy. It, I'm just confused about the whole situation. Why not just say, hey, look, we have a new system. We have a new game we want to put out. We, you've seen it on Xbox One and PlayStation 4. I know it's coming out sooner. But we want to put it on your new system. But they're going to say, when it comes out, we're going to, we're going to talk. It, just, just say we want to do this. Can we talk about this? And then just do it, as just Shia, do it. Do it. <laughs> as Shia LaBeouf would say. Just do all right, do it. So, do you have anything? Um, I, I, I honestly, I was, I was, I was dealing with something over here. I missed, I think, part okay. of the question in the context of this. But I think, um, I, I, I think uh, in general, the we, because if I'm, if I caught this correctly, so they canceled the game and they're hoping to come back with something on the new console, right? Yeah. Um, yep. I, 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 you see EA start pulling out at the end of the life cycle of the Wii. The Wii U is not at the numbers of everything else. The publisher has to make see where they're going to make their money back. If it doesn't look like the Wii U has enough that people are buying anything other than Mario, then I'm not, you're going to pull your game, and you're going to wait for the next console and see how it goes. Um, I mean, if they're being dicks about it, okay, yeah, that, that, that kind of sucks. Um, but it, it's also, I thought really close it's really close and very sad to sound to, to, to hear that uh, the next zelda is going to be like a crossover thing like we had with twilight princess on the gamecube um mm-hmm. so as aside from that discussion that we just had so it, 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 the wii u is winding down guys an announcement is imminent yeah. even though they what anna- well, they'll probably announce next year at what e3 and release in in, in uh christmas you think yeah, or, or, they, so. or is it going to be in a full Probably year? Three next year, or, yeah. or is it going to be a full year afterwards that they actually announce more of it? You know, like they did with the with the Project Revolution, and then they announced it as the Wii the next year and released it. I, I, Nint- I, Nint- oh, I feel like I feel like Nintendo needs to be speedier and not have that year mm-hmm. window. I, I, I'm hoping since we're hearing about it now that we get, hey, here it is. You'll get it at Christmas. I think they need to. I really do. Yeah, Nintendo's about like a year or so behind, mm-hmm. like PlayStation and well, they're staggered uh, Xbox, but they're staggered too. Mm-hmm. They're not. They're not in the same cycle as everybody else that mm-hmm. came out at the same time. They they brought out the Wii U what two years before everybody else brought out a console. Mm-hmm. They're not going for power. They they haven't in the longest time. Uh, they're trying to get it on this other stuff, and I think it's just we can't. We got to stop looking at them obviously as a one to one comparison. But I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to do that, though. I, I know. Mean, three gaming companies. It is. So. All right. That is going to do it for us this week. <laughs> uh, you can follow us on Twitter at InsertCoinTV. Uh, you can visit us at InsertCoinToBegin.com. New articles going up daily. And you can join us live each and every Tuesday night at 8 o'clock on Live.SorgatronMedia.com. So, do you have any plugs? Yeah, please go check out everything going on. Like I said, not only that one uh, discussion that I had with Arnie Arnie Roth there about music. Uh, we're talking about PodCamp Pittsburgh that's coming up with Justin Kanaki on the awesome chat. Uh, we're doing our, our basic sorgonomics. If you're interested in stuff going on in social media, we're having that discussion. We're having these mindful discussions on, on the Power Hour and Fishing Without Bait that we just started up here. And uh, please go check out all this stuff. There's a wide, wide variety of geeky type things. And uh, we hope you find some more stuff and uh, that, that, that we get into. And please Tell your friends and rate us on iTunes. That helps out tremendously. You have no idea for other people discovering the show as well. So, yeah, that's it. All right, Chachi, plugs? Uh, go over to InstartCoinToBeaten.com and enter to win the uh, Distant Worlds mm-hmm. uh, Final Fantasy tickets uh, for August 1st, 8 p.m. at the Pittsburgh Symphony Orchestra. And uh, help us out at Chachi Plays. Uh, give them back to the arts programs in Pittsburgh for kids who need it. Uh, ChachiPlays.com. Yeah do more than just hit that donate button actually mm-hmm. donate money yes all right riz any plugs uh yes first riz plays games uh i haven't been doing much on that channel for a little bit i've been on vacation uh <clears throat> so i will get back onto that in in the next few days uh and also after you're done doing chachi plays and you still have a lot of money left go to fundraise dot operation supply drop dot org slash 
Rich Plays Games. There I'm doing a, a similar type thing, not really, uh, where I will not I don't have a date, but oh, <laughs> but I have a, a goal. Mm-hmm. And that goal is one uh, of the price of one Xbox One or PlayStation Four, PlayStation th- Four, whatever it is, four. The one I have. Uh, so that is no. like or no. So it is. I believe I have it at four hundred dollars. For I'm gonna try to do maybe a six hour game gameplay, twenty four six hour uh, marathon. On uh, my on my Twitch, uh, again, this has no date on it, so don't worry about it. And also, if if I reach that goal, and I get sixty dollars on top of that, which is another which is a new game, I will do like maybe thirty minutes of your game that you want to play. <laughs> I've done that before, and I'm, I'm scared to know what these are. So, uh, by the way, uh, eight bit salute is for the gaming for the troops. It sends games up. To all over the place for the troops. So yeah, that was my thing. So Riz plays games on Operation Supply Drop, but first do Chachi plays. Yep. I all right. Stress that. And you can follow me at Bobby F J Tom, and that is gonna do it for us this week, guys. Game over. Game over, yeah. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at Sorgatron Media. Everybody was. <laughs> I, I knew it. I, knew I it. was going to. Okay. All right. Let me start that over again because I was.